What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for another episode of Dear John, my Q&A series where I take a detailed question from you guys and I explain it in video form. I do want to start bringing this back more often. I talked about on Twitter recently just about how I'm kind of worn out from doing so many reviews and I do like giving insight to things that I feel like I'm at least somewhat knowledgeable on. I'm definitely not an expert on really anything other than giving opinions, I suppose. And you can agree or disagree, but today we're actually gonna take a look at a pretty cool question. I've had it screenshotted for a while, and I do want to start making more episodes of Dear John. So before we get started, please leave a like on this video. Consider supporting on Patreon if you wanna see more content, keep coming on a monthly basis, especially since YouTube likes to demonetize or else limit my ads on YouTube because I'm not ad friendly, I suppose. So Patreon donations on a monthly basis totally help out big time, link down below. Anyways, our question today is from a viewer who wanted to know what I thought about pop music. And he had asked this to me before and I had seen the question, I found it interesting, I forgot to screenshot it. If you wanna get in your questions, please start it with Dear John and then link it down below. You can either tweet me or you can comment it. Anyways, he wanted to know, do you think that the pop music of this generation is going to be classic because Paul McCartney talked about it. He said, you know, today's pop music is the future classics. And do I feel like pop music is going to be remembered? That's a really intriguing question because lately I've really been questioning pop music in general, just how I feel about it, my perception and insight versus what other people feel. And I honestly feel like pop music is so vapid these days. It's so vain, it's so lifeless, and it's so void of any real content or emotional connection. So to give you an upfront answer, no. Today's pop music will not be remembered as classic. I do not think the majority of today's pop music will be remembered in uh, T minus uh, a few years. I mean, most of these songs, other than a few standouts in recent times, just definitely don't go down in your history books, in your mind. You know you keep a log of those songs that you feel like have been super successful, but at the same time also really good. It started looking promising around the turn of this decade here. I mean, we had somebody that I used to know, We Are Young, some other great pop songs, and there are plenty that I do feel will be remembered. But for the most part, what's coming through in the recent years, I would say like 2014 up, it's really starting to get questionable how many of these songs will be remembered. You take a look at something like Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean? I feel like a song like that has a little bit more substance and it definitely was kind of following that tropical trend at the time, but a song like that I could see being remembered, not being called classic, but I could see it being remembered 10 years down the road. Then on the other side of the fence, you have something like Bad and Bougie by uh, Migos. Yeah, don't even like to talk about that song. Bad and Bougie, I don't even think I said that right. But a song like that has no real lasting impact. It's something that you like to maybe jam to, maybe turn up to, and I guess I can respect that in a sense, but I don't like the fact that we're in a culture where everything that's so void is praised as just being excellent and the best. And I think hip hop, Coming in, dominating, it would be one thing if it was actually having some substance, if it was more of stuff like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, uh, maybe even Kanye stepping in, filling the shoes of what's really popular and trendy, that would be great. I miss songs like Mercy by Kanye, Pusha T, Big Sean, uh, Click, everything like that. Uh, that whole phase of rap taking over, it was really a nice time in music, especially on the pop charts. But nowadays, we're dealing with stuff from XXX, Tentacion, and uh, Little Pump, and all these other artists that I just find absolutely atrocious. I don't even like really calling them artists because their music is so garbage. And I definitely hope that this will not be remembered as well, remembered in the first place, but also be remembered as classics in the future. I don't ever want to tell my kids someday, oh yeah, Gucci Gang, you know, by Lil Pump, that was that moment in 2017 where, you know, we just realized that everything was going to be okay and it was going to be all right. And I realized that a lot of pop music is not meant to really change your mind on how you feel. Maybe it's just meant to uplift your spirits momentarily. But tell me this. Think back about 10 to even 15 years ago. 
we went through a great phase in pop music where we had both an emotional connection, but also the pop and catchy tendencies. Take a look at Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson, arguably one of the best pop songs of the 21st century. And we had some other great artists rising up during that time, like Avril Lavigne. Her album Let Go was a smash hit. And we have so many songs that I can still sing every single word to. And even five years ago, we had Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, and some really catchy stuff. Even though I didn't like all of the songs, I can understand why they'd be remembered. Now we get plenty of these songs like 21 Savage Bank Account, where I can't even understand because he's mumbling a lot of the words. And I really could not care less. I don't want to be bragged to. Why are you always stunning on your fans? All of these rappers are always doing that, I feel like and even pop musicians these days. Like, take a look at some of the stuff from even Maroon 5 or other pop acts turned into hip hop leaning acts. It's all kind of appalling in a way because everything is trying to be exactly the same. And in a world where we have so much diversity, why do we want our pop music to all sound the same? And why are we all content with such lackluster music? Once again, I understand personal preferences. Everybody hears things differently, but at the same time, there's really no arguing, I don't feel like at least, in terms of the quality in music. It's dropped so much in the mainstream. We don't give other genres enough of a chance. Even great pop artists like Lord and Dua Lipa aren't getting enough exposure, I don't feel like. Yes, they're both having mild hits right now, but at the same time, they should be dominating because their music is assertive. It's pop, and it's not necessarily hip-hop leaning or pandering, and that's why I feel like it's not maybe doing as well as songs like Bodak Yellow and all of these other songs that I feel are utter trash in 2017. So we need a trend. We need something to change it up. I would even take back the whole folk leaning thing where Mumford and Sons and the Lumineers and even bands like Fun and artists like Gautier were getting really popular really quickly. And then everything shifted and the focus of a band seems no longer important. And even an artist that's playing a guitar or doing something with pop or experimenting with electronic, it doesn't even seem like we're that focused on electronic music anymore. And that's something that I miss. Like I said, I miss diversity in the charts. We have diversity in our world, but not necessarily in our music in terms of what's popular. I miss 2005 to 2010 so much. We could listen to Green Day, Kesha, The Killers, uh, Kelly Clarkson, 50 Cent, Eminem. Everything was on the radio and in the mainstream, and it was all over the place. I could be listening to Destiny's Child one moment and then go straight into a song by The Fray and then one by Three Days Grace. They were all popular, and it was a crazy special time in music. That's how I feel, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. My overall definitive answer is that I do not feel like our current pop music will go down as classics. I do feel like some of it will be remembered, obviously. There's always going to be fans of things that are dedicated to it and have a loyalty and keep listening years later, but I do not feel the songs that are popular right now and popping off are really going to go down as the classics and the history books that we talk and learn about. Anyways, guys, leave your questions for future episodes of Dear John in the comment section down below. Start your comment with Dear John, or if you want to tweet me, hashtag Dear John. It's J-O-N. I'll put it on screen there for you. And uh, just tweet me your questions. Give me a detailed one that I can answer in video form. You can donate directly to my Patreon. It's that annotation in the corner. Or you can see another episode of Dear John right here. Another review that I did in the past few days is floating right over here, and all of my socials will be linked in the description down below. Other than that, I'll see you very soon on ARTV.